What's going on guys, Rolandas here. Today we're gonna be talking about hair cycles. If you've been, for example, on Finastrate for two years and you started experiencing shedding and you don't know what to do, or after about one year of your hair transplant, you notice some shedding of the transplanted hairs. Well, after watching this video, you will be able to understand why these things are happening and the most important things, you will stop freaking out. Before we dive into it, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you stay tuned for my second hair transplant journey, my oral minoxidil experiences, as well as other videos with different tips and tricks just like this one. And after watching this video, find some useful information for yourself. Give me a solid, hit that like button. That's gonna help me a lot. Hair cycles. Let's first understand what kind of hair cycles there are. The first one is anagen phase, which is a growth phase. This is the most important hair growth phase that you need to understand. If we're talking about scalp hair, the growth phase of this hair is gonna be something between two to six years, which means the hair is growing continuously between two to six years before falling out. Any other body hair will have much shorter anagen phase. So for example, beard hair is growing up to one year as an average. And any other hair, for example, like on the arms or legs, the anagen phase, which is a growth phase, is so much shorter. It can grow up to like one or even two months before it's gonna fall off. And each individual will have a different, you know, length of the anagen phase. And the best example for this is when you see some people are able to grow very long beard while others cannot do it. And this is because these people have a longer anagen phase in their beard. So it's actually able to grow longer before falling off. Catagen phase is the second phase, which is happening after anagen phase. It's like a transitioning uh, phase. In this phase, the head stops growing and is detaching from the root. And it's usually lasts between two to three weeks only. Telogen phase, or also called resting phase, is the phase that's coming after catagen phase. Most of the hairs will shed during the catagen phase, but the remaining of them will go out basically in the telogen phase, you know, while you're in the shower, shampooing, or, you know, scratching your head, etc. Telogen phase lasts about 100 days or about three months before it transitions into anagen phase. And this explains very well why, for example, after a hair transplant, you cannot see any growth for the first three months. It's very important to understand. Each hair has its own hair growth cycles, not graft containing multiple hairs, but each individual hair. That's why I've been talking about for so long already that if you got three hair graft, two hairs can be growing at the same time and then after some time, for example, after eight, nine or 10 months after your transplant, you will see an extra, you know, hair growing from the same spot after the transplant, as an example. And this is something nobody's talking about. Okay, now I understand what kind of hair growth cycles there are. So now let's try to tie up together Hair growth and medications. Why do we shed if we're taking certain medications? As you know, if you got male pattern baldness, certain hairs will be more susceptible to DHT. And what it means, the hormone DHT, which is worthless trash beta virgin hormone, DHT, dihydrotestosterone, will go into your hair root and will start eating it. No! In basic words, your hair anagen phase will decrease while in the presence with DHT, if this hair is susceptible. And the longer DHT is attacking your hair follicle, the shorter your anagen phase will be and the longer the telogen phase will be. So this is why if you don't do anything about your male pattern baldness for quite some time, you, you're not able to grow your hair longer and your hair becomes shorter and thinner. Okay, so how do you explain shedding when taking drugs like finasteride, dutasteride or minoxyl, for example? These kind of drugs are actually prolonging the anagen phase, so the hair is able to grow longer and thicker. And basically that's what we all want. As we established before, hair grows to a certain length due to each specific anagen phase. Let's make it simple. For example, if your hair is destined to grow up to, let's say, six inches. So that this is like the maximum anagen phase before it goes into catagen and telogen phase. So six inches is the maximum length. I don't know how long it will take. It depends on the anagen phase and how quickly your hair is growing. But if you stop DHT from eating your follicle uh, via finasteride, dutasteride, for example, and on top, if you add minoxyl to it, your hair then will be able to grow up to seven or eight or even more inches. So you're gonna be growing longer and thicker. And if you don't do anything about it, your six inches become five and four and three and two and one until they're gonna disappear completely. 
What it means, your antigen phase is decreasing and your telogen phase is increasing. When you're taking certain medications, it pushes very weak uh, hairs into premature, basically, telogen phase. So you're gonna go through catogen phase and telogen phase, which is the resting phase and the four. For about 100 days, they're gonna be nothing. And afterwards, your hair will start from scratch, basically, with the programmed longer antigen phase. So this is why you see uh, shedding, especially with medication like minoxidil, for example. And we really don't know exactly which ones and how many hairs you can expect, you know, to shed, because I'm getting these kind of questions a lot. You basically will never know until you try. But rest assured, if you're experiencing shedding, it's a good sign. So coming back to the original question, if you've been for two years on finasteride and you started experiencing shedding. What do you do about it? Nothing. You don't do anything about it. Why? Because this is a natural progression. Your hair is growing through antigen phase, then it goes to catagen phase and telogen phase. This is a natural cycle. So this is very normal. Finasteride was prolonging the antigen phase for a lot of hair. And after a certain time, this antigen phase must end. So the hair is shedding. And it's gonna go back. It's gonna grow back and possibly longer and thicker. So possibly you're gonna have a longer time until you're gonna reach your next catagen and telogen phase. So yeah, once again, if you're using finasteride and minoxidil and you're experiencing shedding, regardless of the time frame, is it after three months, six months, 12 months, 24 months, 36 months, five years, 10 years, do nothing, it will grow back. How about hair cycles and transplants? Magic. When you're undergoing hair transplant, your all follicles harvested from the back and the sides of the head that are transplanted to the front or to the balding area, basically, most of them will go into premature telogen phase due to surgical trauma. And that's when you see about after three months, most of the transplanted hair start to grow. After some time, it's usually about between one and two years after your transplant, you can start shedding transplanted hairs. And what does it mean? Does it mean you're losing your hair and the transplant didn't work? No. Hair cycles. Because of the surgical trauma, hair has been forced to go into premature telogen phase. But after a certain amount of time, some hairs, not all, some hairs will go back to their original hair growth cycles. So they're gonna shed and they're gonna start growing back after about three months. What do you do if you're experiencing shedding of your transplanted hair? You guessed it, nothing. This is something nobody's talking about, but so many people are freaking out like Why my transplant became so much thinner? Hair cycles. It's worth to understand that your overall transplant at first will be the best looking, the thickest in the very first year until you reach this point when uh, your, some of your transplanted hairs will start going to back to their original growth phases. But if you so far understand hair growth cycles, after a certain amount of time, you will have pretty much the same result. So whether it's, uh, you know, after another three months or six months or one year, whatever. Because the growth phase of thick terminal hairs that are normally harvested for, uh, for the hair transplant from the back uh, and the sides of the donor area, they have roughly two to six years of growth antigen phase. So yeah, don't freak out. Okay, so to recap, every individual hair has its own hair growth cycle. Anagen phase will be getting shorter and shorter due to DHT if you got male pattern baldness. And it's possible to stop it or even reverse it with certain medications like finasteride, dutasteride, minoxidil, etc. It's absolutely normal to shed hairs. Once again, refer to hair growth cycle. Your transplant will look best for the first year. After that, it might look a little bit thinner. Afterwards, you're gonna grow back and it will be just as thick. If you found this video informative, hit that like button, that's gonna help me a lot. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos just like this one. And also comment down below if you got any questions. I'll do my best to answer all of them. But for now, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.